I'm building a website for properties. Here I have a list of all the properties, which are just simply Joomla articles. When you display a category list like this, you display the title, the dates, the author, and the hits. These last three can be disabled or hidden in the component or menu options. As they're not relevant, I'm going to do that first. I go to the articles component, options, list layouts, and here I can set the date to be hide, the author to be hide, and the hits to be hide. If I save that and just come back and refresh my page, you can see I now just have the titles of the articles. But for each of these articles, I've added some extra fields. Which city, how many bedrooms, and the price of each property. I'd like to display those fields here on the list. Now, by default, Joomla has no option to display this, but we can actually do it quite simply. So let's go back to the admin of the website. And the first thing we need to do is to find out the ID numbers of the fields. So here are the fields, and here are the ID numbers, two, three, and four. Now, go to the system menu and side templates and open your template. We now need to create a, an override for the content component for the category view. Now that's done, we can find it here. And there are two different ones, one for the blog view and one for the default, which is the list. That's what we want. If we open up default articles, so now that we have default articles open, I'm just going to maximize that a bit by pressing the F10 key. And if we scroll right down, we can see that what we have is a simple table with TDs. So right before the final closing code for the row, this final TR, let's add our own TD. And inside that TD, we're going to put this one line of code, and, but replace that part with the ID number of your field. So if you remember, in my case, there were two, three, and four. So we need to do this for each one. So there's the first one, TD paste three, TD paste four. And let's save that and go back to the front end of our website and refresh the page. And we can see now we have the data for each cell, the custom fields for each cell. We don't have a row header because we didn't put that in. So let's go back and do that. So go back to your override. Again, F10 for full screen. And this time we're looking for the first row, the table header. And there it is, table head. And right at the end, we're going to put a TH instead of a TD because we're a table header. And we're going to paste that line of code, but this time, instead of saying value, we can say label and repeat that. We can now save and close this template override and return to the front end of our website. And if we refresh the screen for the final time, we can see that we now have the table row headers. So that's it with one simple override. We've been able to add the values for our custom fields to the list of articles in our article category list menu item.